In this video, we will look at solving mixture problems, which use pure solutions. The important thing to remember is that the percentage of acid, or other chemical, in pure acid will be 100%, because it's pure acid, which as a decimal is 1.0. If we're talking about water, the percentage of acid or other chemical in the water will always be 0%, or as a decimal, just 0. Let's take a look at some problems where we have to use either pure acid or some other chemical, or pure water. In this mixture problem, we need 1,425 milliliters of 10% acid. The amount times the part is going to equal the final. 1425 and 10% is what we want at the end. 10% as a decimal is 0.1. On hand, we have a 5% alcohol mixture. As a decimal, that's 0.05. And we have a pure alcohol mixture. Pure alcohol will be 100% or 1.0. We don't know the individual amounts, so we'll call them x and y. We can now calculate our finals by multiplying to get 0.05x, 1y, and 142.5. We can now get our equation from the last column, 0.05x plus y, the pure, equals 142.5. The first column, x plus y, equals 1,425. This equation we can solve quite quickly by using the addition method and multiplying the second equation by negative 1 to eliminate the y's. The first equation, unchanged, is 0.05x plus y equals 142.5. The second equation, negative x minus y equals negative 1,425. When we add those together, the y's eliminate and we get negative 0.05x equals negative Oops, actually we get negative 0.95x. Equals negative 1282.5. To get x alone, we simply divide both sides by negative 0.95. And we find out x, the amount of the first solution, is 1350. To find the second solution, we plug into the equation x, or 1350, plus y, equals 1425, and subtract 1350 from both sides. And we find out y is 75. x, the 1350 milliliters, is the 5%. y, the 75 milliliters, is pure. Let's take a look at another example where we have to set up this pure either alcohol or water situation. In this problem, we need 60% methane. That's what we need at the end, 0.6. We have on hand 180 milliliters, the amount of 85%. 0.85. We want to know how much water, we don't know the amount, but the percent in water is always zero, will give us the desired solution. We can calculate the total amount by adding the 180 plus x and multiplying to get our finals. 180 times 0.85 is 153, x times zero is just zero, and 0.6 when distributed through will give us 108, plus 0.6x. With only one variable, we get our equation from the last column. 153 plus 0, we don't really need, equals 108 plus 0.6x. Subtract 108 from both sides, and we get 45 equals 0.6x. Divide both sides by 0.6, and we end up with x, the amount to add, is 75 milliliters of water.